When did it all start in terms of the, the, the personal, the Michael Fisher? Where did you grow up? Where did you go to school? Just give me a little background information on yourself. Sure. I grew up on, in like New York State, but everyone thinks New York City. As you know, it's a big state. There's, uh, there's some, some country to be seen too. I grew up in a tiny little fishing village on the North Fork of Long Island. I graduated with like 90 other kids. Wow. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, it's a very, very small town. You know the phrase, bored to tears? Yes. <laughs> um, I found out that that was, that was not a figurative expression when I was like 14 or 15 and I came back to my hometown from a trip and I literally cried because I, I just tasted what the outside world was like. But listen, beautiful place once you're an adult. As a kid, tough to appreciate. You want to go see other things. So I did. I graduated high school. I went to a college called Old Dominion University in Virginia, yep. in Norfolk, Virginia, mm -hmm. uh, I, which I just absolutely loved. I loved so much. I spent more than four years getting my degree. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> um, and I studied acting there because that's what I wanted to do with my life uh, at, that, at that juncture. And I got a BFA in acting. And you know, um, this is where the Boston part comes in. I got real lucky, timing wise. Uh, we can get into the details, but I had a job doing voiceover. I was doing books on tape for law students, basically, right? Mm -hmm. And when I graduated at ODU, they were like, hey, we just got bought by a company in Boston. So this freelance voiceover thing you have, do you want to move up to Boston with us and do it full time? And I'm like, can I do theater and like set my own schedule and do what I want? And they were like, yeah, you can. I'm like, then let's go. Let's do it. And that was 2008, man. And that's why I was there when I started my tech career years later, but that's why everyone still associates me with Boston to this day, because I, that's where I moved right after graduation, thanks to a job that timing-wise just perfectly, perfectly lined up. Oh, wow, so you see, this is great information because I had no idea. I actually, like I said, I thought you grew up in Boston because when I was watching you early on, that's where I would see all of your videos coming out of. Of Did course. you ever do anything in terms of, you know, and again, this is uh, such good information. You wanted to be an actor. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I, I got a lot of work throughout the college career. I did a lot of stage work. I did a lot of commercials, a lot of industrials and things like that. And I, I loved it. I still love the work. I, I, I just adore it. Um, and again, I, you know, I, I, had, I was lucky enough to have a, a side gig, which was sort of in the industry, that, that voiceover jobs to sort of finance the acting career. And, but the, the commercials and the industrials, they, they, they helped. They, I paid rent acting for years. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you ever have one of those years where everything just, just goes really bad, just goes upside down on you? Absolutely. I, we all do. That, yeah, yeah, that was my, my 2011, man. I, I lost the long form voiceover job dried up. I finally got laid off. Uh, my like four year relationship ended. I, you know, my grandmother died. You know, just everything went wrong in one year. And I said, "Well, here's the deal. What I used to do when I would come home from rehearsal, or come home from a theater show, or come home from a commercial shoot, what did I do to actually unwind? What did I want to be doing? I wanted to be on the internet learning about cell phones. You know, I mean, that's just the core of me is this nerd, this mobile tech nerd. So in 2011, everything goes upside down. I'm like, well, what if what if I try to reverse that? I don't know if I, things I have to say about this stuff are things anybody wants to hear, but I'll try it. So I applied to a tech blog, the only tech blog that got back to me. Um, and uh, that, that's what started that new chapter in, in late 2011. Okay, I wanna talk about that new chapter. Just got one question for you. Please. Why not come back to New York? New York is the epicenter of theater or yes. go out to LA and try your hand at film and television? That is a really good question, and that's what I was advised to do after graduation, you know. Um, the thing was, I think that was my long-term plan, but when you have, when you have a company saying, we're going to pay you a full-time salary, mm -hmm. uh, and we're going, you're going to be able to do as much, you're going to do voiceover uh, and get paid well, and set your own schedule so that you can go do as much theater as you want in Boston and see what opportunities are here. You know, for a, for a college graduate who's just getting out of school, who's, it's tough to say no to any acting work. I think it's kind of drilled into you a lot. You know, it's like, not that books on tape for law students was acting work, but you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's, it's related and it gives you the flexibility to do the stuff you love. So it's tough to say no to it. And I think I was like, you know, maybe this will set, my, set myself up for more success down the road even though it's not immediately what I want to be doing and it's not what I want to be doing for the rest of my life. 
Gotcha. Would I have chosen differently? Given I don't, I don't think I would. I think I'd make the same decision again. But there are some, there are some, some regrets I have from later on down the road that I, I will share <laughs> in a bit. Okay, good. So you, you, you applied a job at a, 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 I'm assuming a website is. What is that? Is that Engadget? Because I remember when I first came to know of you, you, you didn't have at that time the Mister. Maybe you did have the Mr. Mobile channel, but I used to always see your videos on another blog site. I don't know if it was Engadget or... So or, it, it wasn't... You know, I, I applied to Engadget. I applied to The Verge. I applied to Gizmodo, I think. I applied to all the, the, the big names. And in the midst of all that, there was a site that was leaking information constantly. It was actually very well known at the time for breaking news first for having these leaks. And that site was called Pocket Now. And it's still around. They, they still do well. Jaime um, Rivera. <laughs> Jaime, I was just going to say Jaime Rivera. You know, he and I still share a, a, a studio here in really? New York. We share, yeah, we share a workspace um, with David Kogan of, of The Unlocker. Yeah. And, uh, but it was Pocket Now. They were the only ones who answered. They asked me for a writing sample. I said, sure. And I wrote a piece defending a just dreadful phone. I picked a phone everyone hated. I think it was the HTC Cha-Cha. Remember the, the Facebook phone? Yes, I it was do. one of those. Yeah. So I wrote a piece, I wrote like 500 words defending that phone, and they kind of decided to pick me up on a freelance basis, and I started writing pieces for them. But they said, look, we really want to build up our YouTube channel because we have a strong presence there, and we want to increase that. What's your experience like in that vein? I'm like, I've been in front of the camera a lot. And also, I had run a YouTube channel with my dad for the past six or five or six years in a totally unrelated space. Um, and so I had some experience behind the camera as well. Jaime taught me how Final Cut works. Uh, soon enough, I'm shooting, writing, shooting, and editing my own videos for Pocket Now, and that's where things started to pick up steam. You know, you get past that initial wave of "Who's this new guy? Screw you! I want to see Brandon Miniman," and you kind of deal with that for three months, and then people start saying, "I kind of like this guy," and then you, you know, you build a little following within the the larger brand there. But I spent. Um, I spent five years at Pocket now. Yeah, that's when I was introduced to you at, over at Pocket. Yeah. yeah, must have been, yeah. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.